All right. All right. Crowd. My name is Tasneem. Uh, I'm new to Dubai. I've been here for about seven months. How many people are new here? Show of hands. Oh, quite a few, actually. <laughs> okay, well, I'm, I'm actually used to being an immigrant. Uh, I'm a, you know, immigrant here. I'm a daughter of two immigrant parents. I was raised in the United States. And my dad is a Palestinian, and my mom is Mexican. So I guess I'm half a uh, terrorist, half a uh, drug smuggler, I guess. <laughs> um, basically, I told my parents, look, I want to go to Dubai. It's the place of my dreams. They're like, fine, go there. So they told, they warned me about certain things. My mom and, and her Mexican accent was like, oh, daughter, this is going to be the most difficult time of your life. Do you know? And do you don't have your driver's license? How are you going to leave? I was like, oh, mom, you know, who cares? You know, I can, um, you know, it's easy to get your driver's license in Dubai. So easy. So easy. It wasn't. I came here. I registered for the Ahli Driving School. I hate that place. I really hate that place. It's like auditioning for American Idol. And actually, it's a thin line between auditioning for American Idol and uh, being at a mental institution. <laughs> Do you guys notice when people are sitting down in the waiting room and some people are just like, trying to revise how to drive. They know how to drive, but they're learning. They're like, okay, turn on the car. Okay, red means go. Oh no, red means stop. Green means go. Okay, how do I turn on the car? And they're talking to themselves. I'm like, oh my God, where the hell am I? It's just like really, really weird. But I mean, that's not the only weird thing about this place. I mean, talk about taxis, okay? When I take a taxi, okay, at five o'clock, I hail my, my, you know, raise my hand and the Indian guy comes, stops. And he's like, ma'am, where do? I'm like, I want to go to, I want to go to Sharjah. Indeed now, yeah, Indeed now. I'm like, I want to go to Sharjah. And he's like, okay, mom, I'm very hungry. I cannot drive you. I'm like, why did you stop? Mom, you see my stomach? I'm very hungry. Acha, I have to go now. I'm like, what, what is this? I mean, seriously. But I mean, that's not the only thing. Um, the, the other thing is like customer service here. Okay, I go to the grocery store, and like, I put in my clothes, I'm like, okay, I want this. And, and then the guy looks at me like, you want this? I'm like, yes, I want these clothes. And then, this aside, I do not want these clothes, okay? He's like, ma'am, but I don't understand, do you want these or do you not want this? This, I do not want, this, I want. But what do you mean? I want this, I don't want this. Ma'am, I don't understand you. <laughs> Seriously, what the hell? But that's not the only thing. It's just crazy. Um, but the I mean, I was kind of arrogant. I came here, I was like, okay, I'm gonna understand all of these accents. I got the Indian accent covered, the Filipino accent, except for the British. <laughs> How many people are British out here in the crowd? <laughs> yeah, you guys don't understand anything you're saying. <laughs> I don't understand anything that comes out of your mouth, so I'm so sorry. I'm not racist or anything, but I don't understand anything. Oh, you got to get to the loo? <laughs> a queue? Well, what's a queue? Really? Oh, What's a key? What's a stand? But that's not the only thing. I mean, I swear, I'm going to go back to the States this summer and I'm going to be culture shocked. I'm going to go to a Mexican restaurant and this Mexican guy's going to be like, Do you want some tacos with that, mom? I'm like, Beta, I don't want tacos, I want that. <laughs>